Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the parts of a plant. I'm going to take four fingers on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy line all the way over to the right and stop. I come right here in the middle and I'm going to draw a little curve line up, curve line over, curve line in, and I'm going to leave this little space open and I'll tell you why later. From that open space, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line down, come back to that space, draw another wavy, wavy line down, come back again to that space, and draw another wavy, wavy line down. Now, I go back to the first one and I draw some wavy lines out, come to the middle, wavy line down, come to the top, wavy line out. Okay? Now I come right back to this section in the middle and I'm just going to draw one, two little straight lines. Now if you didn't have room for the two little straight lines, don't even worry about it. We're just going to start from that and draw a slightly wavy line up on the left and come down again and on the right we're going to draw a slightly wavy line up on the right. I come over here on the left and I draw a straight line out on the left, come over to the right, draw a straight line out on the right. Come back to the left down here at this section and I draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect, come on the right hand side, curve line out, curve line in, connect. Come right here to this straight diagonal and go one, two, three, baby straight lines. Come on the right hand side, one, two, three, baby straight lines. I come all the way up here to the top and I'm going to draw a flat oval or a flat pizza curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. I come over here on the left hand side and I draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, keep going, out, in, out, in, connect. Okay. Alright. Now, because this is kind of like a science project, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to label our picture. And this is called Parts of a Plant. Okay? Starting all the way down at the bottom, right here where we started here, I'm going to draw a straight line out, and then I write Seed. S E E D. Then I come down to this section and I draw a straight line. That straight line tells you that this is what it's labeling. And I write roots. R O O T S. I come up and on this section right here I draw a straight line out and I write the word stem. S-T-E-M. Then I come over to this side, or you could use the other side, and I write the word leaf. L-E-A-F. And finally, I come up to the very tippy top, and I write the word flower. F-L-O-W-E-R. Okay? So we have seed, roots, stem, leaf, flower. All of those are parts of a plant. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to start with is my little seed. 
And I'm going to make this pink. You can make it yellow. You can make it orange. You can really make it any color you want. I just want everybody to know that that's where everything starts from. So I made mine pink. Then I'm going to go underneath my soil and I'm going to do this first line all brown on the bottom side because all of my roots I'm going to use my brown crayon and just trace the black lines that I already drew so that you know that underneath are all the roots then I'm going to take my green and I'm going to do my stem above and then if you have a little bit of room down below those little two straight lines you want to maybe put that green. If you didn't have room, don't worry about it. That's okay. Now, below the line is my soil, but above the line is going to be some grass. So I'm going to take another color green if you have one. If you don't, you can use your regular green and just make it light. And I'm going to color the top part of this line green so that I know that's what's above the soil. Okay, next I come to my leaves and I color these green. And then you can really color your flower part any color you want. But I did yellow and then I did red because I kind of wanted it to pop. Now because this is maybe part of a science project, I'm not going to color the background because I want to make sure you can read all of my words that I labeled. Okay? Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here are my parts of a plant all colored in, ready to be studied. Okay, bye-bye.